the Louisiana coast has major economic and ecological importance, both regionally and nationally. The Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at Louisiana State University plays a leading role in the efforts to study, plan, and design the natural and built infrastructure required to meet these needs. Our objective is to engineer and implement resilient built and natural infrastructure systems. Building, designing, and maintaining coastal infrastructure need that accurate information. If your design water level and design wave height is uh, inaccurate, then you may underestimate the wave forces uh, on the structure and can cause a failure of a coastal bridge or a levee. The Coastal Engineering Group in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering has been doing both computer modeling and few measurements of storm surge and hurricane waves. One of the developments is the improvement in the wind prediction. We take the forecast from Hurricane Center and predict the hurricane structure of the wind on the ocean surface that can be used to drive the storm surge and wave model. The Lower Mississippi River is very vital to Louisiana and the nation's economy and that it provides a very cheap, economically feasible method for transporting goods and services. Here at Louisiana State University, we're using both physical and numerical models to understand the Mississippi River hydraulics, the sediment transport. We're working with the state's Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority in order to design, construct, and then utilize this small-scale physical model. So the model covers about 150 miles of the river. With the physical model, we're able to do very controlled experiments over very long time scales. We can look at what the river might look like in 10 or 30 years from now, not just what's happening right now. We have worked on developments of innovative approaches to characterize, predict, and simulate the high-speed damage impact and localization-related problems with applications to modern engineering structures and materials. We have done experiments at the nanoscale where we really indent the material to obtain its hardness. The hardness changes with the depth of indentation. That's one aspect of what we're doing. We try to do analysis at the atomic scale, interpret what's happening there, and then take that information into the continuum scale, which is the scale that allows us to do modeling and computational modeling. The transportation infrastructure is Louisiana composes of over 60,000 miles of streets, roads, and highways. We look at materials, we look at technologies, we look at construction that utilizes sustainable concepts. We were able to come up with a technology that will allow the use of waste tires in flexible pavement. Our findings were implemented in the specification of road and bridges of the Louisiana DOTD. Bridges are important components of the transportation infrastructure. The natural hazards, such as hurricanes, subject bridges to different uh, extreme conditions. Hurricane Katrina caused a lot of failures of the low-lying coastal bridges. Let's review a series design flaws for the low-lying bridges. So my research is to provide a guideline for the highway department to improve the design. So we start the interaction between fruits and the structures and develop the mitigation countermeasures such as cutting holes on the bridge deck and use material like such as smart materials to reduce the damage. Gulf Coast states like Louisiana and Texas are in the petrochemical industry and so these facilities have to exist in our coastal environment. My area really is the fate of chemicals once it gets into these environments. So when they spill and they get into a wetland environment, I know the, the bacterial processes, uh, how the chemicals evaporate, all the things that happen with each of the chemicals that, uh, that we need to respond to. With respect to Deepwater Horizon spill, it's really, you know, how are we going to respond once the oil starts hitting the environment? What are we going to do to put boom in place or other kind of response technologies to kind of uh, prevent the chemicals from getting further into the environment and causing more harm. We collaborate with Tulane University, with Texas Tech University, uh, and getting people in here who know different aspects of the problem. The planning of successful evacuations starts 
uh, fundamentally with figuring out how many people need to evacuate. And that's a function of how big the threat is. For a hurricane, that could involve millions of people spread over tens of thousands of square miles. What we try to do is to best utilize the available infrastructure within the transportation system. So we did a lot of analysis. We use uh, traffic simulation uh, to test ideas and to evaluate ideas. Part of our research here is to look at ways that we can better load people into the system, get them moving through the system, and getting them out of harm's way as quickly as possible. One of the ways we do that uh, is called contraflow, where we turn around the flow um, on sections of roadway uh, so that the inbound lanes can actually be used in the outbound direction. The infrastructure and environment in coastal areas within the U.S. and around the world are subject to severe stresses induced by the continued population growth and pressure caused by climate change and sea level rise. The Civil and Environmental Engineering Department has been continuously engaged in addressing a resilient and sustainable coastal infrastructure.